uh, representing the Philippines and Cajas, 32-1, two draws, 22 knockouts. Uh, he is 29 years old. And uh, IBF, super, white, uh, super flyweight world champion since 2016, which makes him uh, not the, the longest reigning world champion, but he has the most title defenses of any current world champion. Uh, which is, is a huge, huge honor. And uh, we welcome him to the stage here and we welcome him to, uh, to Showtime or Saturday night. He will open up the show against Jonathan Rodriguez in a, in a huge title fight. Um, so I'll uh, kick it off with Jerwin. How was, uh, how was training camp? How, did, how was preparations? Um, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, God and... Uh, also of PBC and Showtime to have me here in uh, this event. And um, me and my whole team is so happy because, and also we'll thanks Sir Shan, he wants to give, give me a fight here. And and uh, the, tra the training camp though. And uh, we also pre, you know, pre prepare for this, uh, for this fight because uh, this fight is uh, almost one year, and you know, uh, my coach and coach Jovina will always study my opponent, and we work hard for this fight, sir. Excellent. And uh, Ed, to the members of the media, if you have a question for Jerwin, please uh, raise your hand and I will get to you uh, in the order. Um, so being that, uh, as noted, that you have the most title defenses of any current champion, sun, uh, Saturday on Showtime will be your ninth title defense. Uh, what does that mean to you to keep that streak going? Uh, for me, sir, this fight is so very important to me. Uh, uh, and also my title, I want, I want uh, to defend this title, sir, because uh, every for me is, every fight is very important. That's why I, I'm always uh, keep this title, sir. Great. Well, we will start with media questions. Uh, first up, I will toss to Jeremy Herridges of Fan Sided. Hi, Jerwin. Um, I know that that you've been out of the ring for for 16 months. Um, how frustrating was that? And, and is there any fear of ring rust when you fight on, on the 17th, on the 10th? Uh, for, for us, uh, we're not, uh, you know, uh, we're not frustrated because we always uh, train and I'm, uh, we believe that the uh, situation give, uh, give, uh, give us a uh, fight for, uh, for me and um, yeah, it's not too frustrating. He, you know, he stayed focused and yeah, stayed ready. Us. So um, he understands it's frustrating for everybody. So he just made sure he stayed ready. I know that a lot of people have talked about Estrada, Chocolatito, Sorum, Visai. Um, do you feel disrespected when they don't mention your name along with some of those others? Uh, I, sir, I understand that, sir, because uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, he don't know me yet. <laughs> we try to, you know, uh, every fight we, I, my fight, or, or I'm always um, uh, give a good fight because we, I want also to know my my name for for them. That's why I'm very excited if uh, if we have a chance to uh, challenge them. <laughs> You know, obviously, Jonathan Rodriguez is, a, is an action fighter. You're an action fighter. What What do you expect as far as the type of fight he's going to bring to you? Uh, for me, no, sir. Um, I'm 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 promised that uh, that that Saturday night uh, I'm going to good fight. I'm ready for what Jonathan Rodriguez, uh, um, what he do and uh, fight and we are ready for that, sir. Yeah, what, what he you. expects, what he expects too though is Mexican and Filipino, it's a great rivalry. Manny Pacquiao, Marquez, Barrera, Morales. So Jerwin is very prepared. He's watched Jonathan, he knows the kid is hungry. He knows he's coming for the title and um, he, he just welcomes a really good action fight. 
Thank you, gentlemen, and best of luck on Saturday. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, next, we'll go to Steve Angelis uh, from the Filipino Channel. Hi, Jerwin. Hi, Sir Sean. Uh, Steve, so pwede ito mag-Tagalog. Um, so, yes. Jerwin, parang tagal na hinihintay mo itong laban to, di ba? Mga October 2019 pa. Um, and siya, Jerwin, siya, if you're not as recognized as the others, do you feel medyo that has a hintay nito? Parang na-delay ang, ang momentum mo coming into this fight. Do you think parang motivation yan that we need to fight now. So, I don't feel like one up or a relief about na na nangyari na ito. Ah, uh, yun sir, uh, hindi naman po ako talagang yung isip ko talaga hindi talaga uh, kumbaga hindi ko pinagmalaki na ganito na ako. Uh, dami na ako na depensa kasi yun nga di pa nga tayo kilala sa mga ibang champion. Eh, kailangan pa nating uh, magsikap na para maka makilala nila, sir. Salamat. Good luck. Salamat, sir. Thank you very much. I have uh, one uh, chat question that came comes from Giandra LaBeouf. Uh, Jerwin, what do you want your legacy to be in the sport when it's all said and done? Um, being a fighter from the Philippines, the comparisons to Manny Pacquiao are there. So um, just curious what you want your legacy to be. You understand legacy, like yeah. when you're all done, what? Uh, for me, sir, I, um, I don't want, I, I, you know, uh, I, uh, in myself, I, I don't want like a Sir Manny because Sir Manny is a high level, very high level in the boxing. Uh, he's, uh, he's done in boxing so very, Hi for me, but but uh, for for I uh, for myself, sir, I'm stay uh, fo uh, focus and what God give me and uh, what God give give to me. I uh, yeah. What he's saying too, he wants people to remember him yeah. for being a champion. They give it his all every time he got in the ring. He did what he could, and God with whatever blesses him yeah. and you know he sees his legacy as uh after this fight being able to fight some of the the top guys the wrong besides the you know whoever's whoever's out there that's left after that four-man tournament and he just always his legacy to him is um what he what he gives in every fight he, he always comes to to fight and give the fans his best and he just wants them to remember him for that type of guy that's excellent thank you sean um uh, next question, question will go to Terrell Van. How you doing, Jeremy? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How you doing? Um, good luck this weekend. Can you explain your plans at 115 pounds going forward and how right now are you feeling at the weight? Because the promotional, well, the platform move from top rank ESPN to Showtime does raise some questions. So I guess what I'm asking is, is there a potential plan to move up in weight within, I'm guessing, the next year? Uh, for, He's asking first at 115, what you want to do first, yeah. and then when you think about maybe you may move up to 118. Um, for, for, for me, sir, uh, it's my weight now is uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm comfortable for my weight 115. Then I, uh, Sir Shan, all the plan is all about Sir Shan, what he planned for us. Yeah, okay, I can and our final little, question. I can, I can help you real quick with that a little bit. He's looking, of course, to win on Saturday night and coming over to PBC and Mr. Al Heyman. Um, he's, you know, he, he's looking at fighting whoever's left after the four guys fight. Wrong beside Chocolatito and um, the other the other two, uh, Quadris. Um, so whoever's left out of, out of that Estrada is kind of what he's he's targeting. Um, that fight there, or possibly Ioka. He, he wants a signature fight because, you know, he's tired of a lot of people criticizing him, saying you haven't fought anybody, even though he beat one of the best champions ever in McJoe um, uh, Arroyo. He's had some nice wins along the way, but, you know, everybody wants that signature fight. So after this, that's what he's targeting. And then sometime next year, he'll look to move to 118 after he has finishes at 115. Perfect. You answered my question. And final question. Uh, did you get a chance to watch Chocolatito, excuse me, Estrada versus Chocolatito too? And who did you think won? 
Uh, Estrada. Yeah, who did you think won? Maybe we watched the fight. Who do you? Estrada and uh, Chipaletti. Oh, for me, sir, uh, he, he, oh. Takes, he takes Chagalatito one. <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, good luck this weekend. All right, thank you. <laughs> Most people did, so you're not you're not alone. <laughs> but I, I bet Estrada would you know. And, uh, it's a good fight, though. All right, thank you. Uh, next question, uh, we can go to J.R. Bell. All right there, uh, German. Um, you know, people were talking about the uh, fight set there at 115 with like, a, you know, an Estrada or a Chocolatito or a short run beside. But um, one guy that's there is the WBO champion, uh, Kazuto Yoka. Like, how, how about the possibility of fighting the Yoka if you're not put in a position to fight either one of those guys that are mentioned? Uh, before. Would you like a fight with Ioka, you know, the WBO champion? Yeah. Um, uh, we always, uh, before, sir, we always calling the name of who who's the title holder in the my division, sir. We always, uh, you know, if you, Ioka, I'm, I'm ready for, for Ioka, sir. He's happy to fight any of them. If the opportunity comes up, he's not afraid to fight Ioka or anybody at 115. He's more than happy to. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. Next, we'll go to Sean Brown from Boxing Social. Hi, Jeremy. Um, it's been mentioned, obviously, that you haven't fought uh, for about 16 months. What has the last 16 months been like for you personally outside of the sport? For the, for the last 16 months, like, you know, what was it like for the, when the pandemic, seven months in the Philippines before you came to the U.S.? Uh, we always train there so in, in, the, in my uh, survival camp, then before we go here in the U.S., we always train, sir. We always send focus for for this fight, sir. Yeah, the good thing what Jerwin's saying is he has a, he built a gym. He built a, he has like a farm called Survival Camp where okay. he lives and trains and he has a lot of boxers there and his family. So from, from March until October during the pandemic, he was able to work out. He was able to, you know, kind of stay focused. And then he arrived in the U.S. October 1st. So he's been here seven months. He missed Christmas. He's missed his son's birthday. Um, and he understands, you know, a lot of people uh, have had issues too and missed things. So he's been able to stay focused. He's a good team around him. His coach, Joven Jimenez, Jonas Sultan's been here to spar with him. So even though he hasn't been able to fight in that time, he's never stopped training properly. So he feels that he's very prepared still to, uh, to meet the challenge on uh, Saturday night. Okay, and um, do you ever get fed up or bored hearing guys' names like Chocolatito and Estrada mentioned during your interviews? And does that make you want to put on a statement on Saturday night and remind people of what you can do? Yeah, basically... Do you, do you get tired of hearing the comparisons? You know, why don't you fight Chocolatito, fight mm -hmm. this guy? And then Saturday night, you want to make a statement to let people know Jerwin and Cajas is here. Um, you know, so I'm, for, for me, I'm, I'm always stay, you know, what, uh, stay at what, uh, what I am now because uh, uh, someday, I, I, I know someday I will go in the top and, and, and you know, trade. Yeah, yeah, what he's saying, he doesn't mind hearing the names. It's yeah. a compliment, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he, he knows one day it will come uh, and he will get the opportunity to fight one of those guys. And, of course, Saturday night, being on Showtime, fighting for PBC, absolutely wants, to, you know, he knows a lot of people are going to be watching. Um, so he definitely wants to make a great statement and a great fight. So, of course, he can move forward and, and have his name still in the mix with all those guys. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. You got a good name, too, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. And we, we just have one more question here from the media. Uh, Cynthia Conti, uh, the floor is yours. Viva Cynthia. Woo. Hi, Derwin. Hi, Sean. Hey. Uh, on different rings TV. You, we, you, they asked about it earlier, the legacy fights, Chocolatito, Ioka, Estrada, and even Cuadras. Out of all of those names, if you had to choose one name, belt or no belt, it doesn't even matter, what would be the career defining fight for you? Mm, for for me, uh, I want um, Chocolatito because the uh, Chocolatito before uh, I saw in only in the TV and he's my idol. And now uh, I have, uh, if I have an opportunity to fight Chocolatito, I want that fight, man. And uh, your English is getting so much better. What are you doing to learn, to teach yourself? Is Sean teaching you? He's hanging out in the United uh, States for the last seven months. Seven months, <laughs> and I, maybe I'm so nervous. No, maybe that's right. He's getting better. Yeah. Now, thank you, Ms. Cynthia. He's definitely been practicing. He, he wants to do interviews like this, and he wants to be able to cross over with the American media. So um, he's very happy to speak the best he can. Because his, his English is better than my Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, lastly, can you give a message to your Ring TV fans in Tagalog? Um, sa, sa lahat po ng, uh, sa, sa manood po sa laban ko, humingi po kami ng uh, supporta sa team ko, uh, dasal po, at saka yung safety, lalo na sa, sa aming dalawa sa kalaban ko, yun yung pinaka-importante at... Uh, Uh, nagpapasalamat ako sa suporta nyo at uh, di, uh, ang itong darating na laban na uh, ibibigay namin ng best namin ni Jonathan Rodriguez. Okay. Salamat and mabuhay, Jerwin. Mabuhay po. Thank you, everyone. Thank you uh, for all the questions. Thank you, Jerwin, for the time. Again, Jerwin and Cajas makes his ninth title defense uh, of, a, of his IBF super flyweight belt. Saturday showtime opening up the show it's going to be a it's going to be a huge huge fight and uh, we wish you the best of luck Jerwin thank you